Just be more pleasing that guy. Hey, Jared. How you doing? Back. Appreciate it. <laughs> How important was it for you to play? And how close to 100% did you feel like that? Uh, it was important for me to play, you know, not even like mentally for me, which was a big thing. But for the team, I felt that I needed to be out there for them. You know, whether I was 70 percent, 80 percent, I just needed to show my face and give some type of effort to give that morale boost if I could. And I, I don't know what percent I was at. I was I'd say I'm more than 70. You know, that's, that's, <laughs> I, don't know, I can't put it on the dot, but I felt decent out there. How much did it bother you out there? And, like, mm -hmm. where did the finger show up right. the most? I was more just, like, sticking it in the defense where, like, just into the crowds. I was still a little nervous about that. I got banged up a little couple times, you know, just playing through pain. So I was just trying to get comfortable again with it. Thank you. Kelsey. Kelsey, the athletic. Jared, mm -hmm. what was the um... – I think we're still processing it. A lot of the guys in the locker room just still sitting in the chair and we're still like, like, damn, it's really over, you know? And then two seconds later and it's like, we're laughing because we had a hell of a year. You know, we, <laughs> a lot has happened this year, positive, negative, but we look at all the, the times that we did play well and we came together and it was all positive. Going off of that, you guys have been through a ton this year, the injuries, right. the ups and downs, et cetera, to be in this spot, a lot of like a lot of outside people would think you would be here. Right. How do you how did you guys work through all the adversity that you guys saw in a lot of different ways uh -huh. to get to this point? Uh, you know, we said it all year about this group and having each other's back and playing for each other and just being there for each other off the court. I think, no, I don't think. I know that's the reason that we're able to get through all of this adversity. We're able to have each other's backs. We trust in one another to step up in the times that we need them the most. And we just went out there and played as a team. Thank you. Ashley, Ashley Bass at Cleveland.com. Jared, to build off of Kelsey's question, I mean, how long do you think it'll take to – process this season when you look at everything right. you guys accomplished and, and the uh -huh. ups and the downs that you've had. Right. Everybody processes it differently. Uh, everybody, some people might not realize that we're done. You know, people might still be thinking, damn, well, okay, let's play again, you know, but then it's going to hit them eventually that and it's really over. So it's just going through your head, just realizing that we had a great season and it's time to get ready for the next one. You know, a couple of weeks ago, JB, I think I asked him about how you were handling being out. And he said, you know, like most guys just go crazy trying to get back out right. there. And I guess as the, it was such a rough stretch without you. The losses kind of started to pile up. You're uh -huh. watching them fall in the, in the Eastern Conference standings. I guess right. what was that time like for, for you? Uh, it was it was stressful. You know, I, I'm not a person to get stressed. That's a lie. Uh, <laughs> it was, I, I don't know a good word for it. It was just like, it was biting at me. I, I really wanted to be out there. I really wanted to play by my teammate's side, but it's just the finger. You know, I just, I didn't feel like I would add any positive to being out there. I just wasn't ready mentally to play and like compete out there, uh, knowing that I still had the broken finger. Uh, it just, it was a, a rough time for me but you know I was out there every day getting conditioned if anything was going to stop me it was it was going to be my finger it wasn't going to be conditioning uh headspace or anything Sarah, well, you're a writer I'm sure the, the play where you got shoved into Darius you made the three but it got waved off because of the, the problem that right. seemed to kind of be the turning point there like from a momentum standpoint mm -hmm. Offensively, there in the second half, the, the ball moving right was it there, like it was in the first half. Just what mm -hmm. happened? Uh, things got a little stagnant for us. I think we we slowed down a little bit on offense. We didn't have that same fire that we had attacking them on the offensive end. You know, I still do think that we made plays, we made big shots. Big shot Lowry came up big. Um, but we just weren't knocking down shots, we weren't doing it like we were in the first half. And you guys are such a close knit bunch, the camaraderie that you feel almost like a family atmosphere. It seems right. just, you know, next mm -hmm. year's a new year. Uh -huh. How do you guys kind of maintain that and, and right. bring what was a big part of helping you guys mm -hmm. be successful?
bring that forward so that you can continue to be successful and even more successful. The one thing about the uh, what you're talking about being a family, being together, I think that has transcended us as players, as individuals. I think us this year playing how we did on and off the court, I truly think that we made that Cavs basketball, being together, playing for one another, and making this team a family. Um, I don't know if I've read this somewhere or wherever, but um, so you still don't want to have surgery? I mean, right. yeah, I'm I'm past the surgery. I'm not I'm not going to do the surgery. Yeah. You know what I mean, was that? Oh. Did you rule that out too? Like right off right. the bat, saying you wanted to. Like, how did that feel? Uh, I, you know, I sat down after I had the doctor's appointment. I called my dad. I called just my my close circle, talked it through with them, you know, see, do I want surgery? You know, just run ideas by people that I know care about me and I care about them. And, you know, we came to the decision that, you know, it's best for me not to have surgery. And just one more thing about the team, just mm -hmm. the way Darius grew and you elevated right. your game. And do you allow yourself to, I mean, you can imagine like, Evan's going to be, I mean, right, you think right. about the future and especially like next season and how you, Absolutely. the leap, how far can you think you guys can? Right. Uh, who knows how far we can go? I mean, we have the rookie of the year on our team. We have Darius who had a huge leap in this year. Uh, you know, JB shows why he he deserved that extension. You know, we have all these pieces together that's showing that we can come out and be an excellent team next year. Teams have done it all the time. You look at Memphis, uh, they turned it around almost instantly. So I think we can do that. You know? yeah. Hey, Jared, I, I might be the only one who doesn't know the answer to this question, but how did you break your finger? <laughs> Uh, so the video showed that I went to block a shot with my left hand or my right hand, and then the left hand came on the rim and hit it and bent it. Is it so? Because that was the game that you uh got a bruised thigh, I think. Too, yeah, 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 it's easily the the thigh looks like the hand, it's easy to get mixed up. No, no, I'm no, right. I'm with you. Right, right, the same game. Yeah, it was the same game. So I went out with the thigh contusion, and then it's right. like, damn, I. Hand kind of hurts, you know. I can't bend my finger, so I went and got an X ray, and boom, it's cracked, you know. <laughs> so, but you don't know, it doesn't really matter which one happened first, yeah. But, uh, but it happened, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Jared, Trey had six points in the first half, and it seems right. like you guys were doing what you wanted to do defensively yep. against him. How did it deteriorate so quickly in the second half? Uh, I mean. He deserves a nickname for a reason, Ice Trey. I mean, he went out there, hit some crazy shots. I mean, it seems like he hit like eight threes during the game, nine threes, but I'm looking at the stat sheet, it's only four. You know, it's just whenever he needed to hit the shot in the moment, he did. I mean, he was pulling from the the logo down there, and it's it's tough to guard. And he was just – he showed why he's one of the best in the NBA. And then for you guys, when you look at the season as a whole – Obviously, the injuries hover over it. Right. But is there something else about this season that you're going to lament when you look back on it? Let's well, say two word. Lament? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> regret. 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 Okay. okay. Uh, we're going to look back. You know, there's, there's certain great uh, – not grades. Yeah, I'm thinking about the SAT. There's certain, <laughs> there's certain games that we should have won that we should have came out and competed more. Um, we all know the games that we lost that we should have had. And going forward, and at what well, that was December, January, whatever it was, those affected us down the line. You know, if we would have won those, who knows what position we would have been in now. Moment. Moment. Thanks, Boy, well, Thanks that <laughs>